This year, after a long bout with superheroes, demons, angels, zombies, vampires, and talking teddy bears, Hollywood is finally starting to get it right. We have not one, but two films about great scientists. The Theory of Everything chronicles the life of Stephen Hawking, one of the most colossal and influential scientific forces of his era. It's a powerful film about a man who is a hero to me, and I'm sure to all of you. Take a look. When stars are born, and when they die, they emit UV radiation. So if we could see the night sky in the ultraviolet light, then almost all the stars would disappear, and all that we would see are these spectacular births and deaths. I reckon it would look a little... Like that. Our next presenters are the star of the theory of everything, the brilliant actor Eddie Redmayne, and with him is one of the founders of the Breakthrough Prize, Mr. Yuri Milner. As someone whose science career came to an inauspicious end at about the age of 14 years old, uh, attempting to play Professor Hawking was a pretty overwhelmingly daunting prospect. But even though I had immense trouble attempting to understand the intricacies of string theory, uh, I do know this, that while Stephen's body went into physical decline, his mind has never stopped expanding to new frontiers. And one of the questions that Stephen has thought deeply about is why the universe is so large. From the viewpoint of fundamental physics, it's remarkable that it's so big and getting bigger. What's even more remarkable is that a few billion years ago, someone released the brakes and stepped on a gas pedal. Many people thought that the expansion of the universe was slowing down, but instead one day in 1998, we woke up and discovered that its expansion was accelerating. What we wanted to know was, as the universe expands, does it slow down? Gravity, everything in the universe pulls on everything else, and we expect the universe to slow down over time. We set out to try to find out if the universe was slowing. It turns out there was a real race on. The Supernova Cosmology Project and the IZ Supernova Search Team, I think, were analogous to two football teams. We hadn't really agreed a lot on anything in public. We were a threat to them, and they were a threat to us. The two teams had to use the same instruments, so that meant that we were applying for the same telescopes. We'd be flying down to Chile, and we'd be passing each other in the airports. Adam Reese was a must-have on the team, an expert at measuring distances. I had some new techniques, but these are very difficult experiments to do. So when we looked at the data, and it said that the expansion of the universe was accelerating and not decelerating, our fear was that we had made a mistake and would look foolish. So we assumed we had done something wrong. A big surprising result is much less likely than some mistake. I looked at this and rolled my eyes and said, there's no way this can possibly be right. We used to exchange email during the time we were working on this discovery about what our plan B was. Brian would say, well, I like wine a lot. I really think I could, I could start a winery or do something else. We don't have a long, illustrious career to go, well, that was just one mistake. I cannot believe the universe is actually accelerating. The big surprise was that gravity was working in reverse. It was pushing rather than pulling. The way this race ended is that it was such a dead heat. It certainly did not hurt to have two highly competitive teams arrive at the same crazy answer. You know, your mind is just, I can't even fathom that. You never know what you're gonna discover. The magic of science is to see for the first time something that, you know, nobody's ever known or seen before. It was a result that allowed us to ask a whole new range of questions.
in science, as in cinema, triumph is often a bit of a team effort. So before we bring up these three scientists to receive their prizes, let us recognize a whole team of people behind them who made this breakthrough possible. 48 men and women who contributed to this effort. Let's welcome the three leaders of the teams to accept this award on behalf of all their colleagues. Ladies and gentlemen, Saul Perlmutter, Adam Rees, and Brian Schmidt. Right now, the world faces an uncertain future, and science is really our best way to face that future. So it is great that we can come here tonight, celebrate science, and help make sure that science can deliver for society in the future. Thank you very much. I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of the High z Supernova team. Thank you. For me, this, this prize plays a special role, in this case, recognizing two international teams, some 50 people altogether, who over a decade of perseverance were able to catch the universe in the act of once again behaving even more bizarrely than we thought possible. Thank you. <laughs>